Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 2P Press Start. I'm your host, Giant Killer, and today we're proud to present episode 35 of our Top 5 Hearthstone Plays of the Week. And this week we're bringing you a special All Nexramas episode, featuring the best and most creative ways we've seen to take out Nexramas bosses submitted by players battling their way through the Curse of Nexramas expansion over the past few weeks. So without further ado, let's get right into the action with number 5. Our number 5 play this week was a submission from Zack N, and it features Tenision Paladin up against Heroic Kel'Thuzad. And late in the game, after having his board wiped by an ill-timed Twisting Nether, Tanisi is about to show Kel'Thuzad that revenge is a dish best served Kodo. He starts by unfreezing his stampeding Kodo by silencing it with an Iron Beak Owl, then buffs it up with a Blessing of Kings and a Blessing of Might, then swings in for 10 with the Beast, and finishes off his heroic Nexramus run with a fateful swing from the Ashbringer. Our number 4 clip this week was a submission from Bukati, and it features Banana Flame on Shaman up against Heroic Patchwork. And in this play, Banana Flame is living the Shaman dream against this monstrous abomination, starting out by coining out two Dust Devils on turn 1, then swinging in for 12 points of damage on turn 2, then freezing Patchwork with a Frost Shock and dropping a Flame Tongue Totem to swing in for 20 damage on turn 3. Then he lucks out on Patchwork's Hateful Strike, hitting the Totem, allowing him to swing in for lethal damage on turn 4. As you can see, Patchwork had no idea what hit him. This week's number 3 play was a submission from Interest, and it features Interest on Druid up against Heroic Noth the Plaguebringer. And after Interest loses his board to a Plague, giving Noth an army of 5-5 five, five skellies, he realizes he's probably not going to be able to win this fight through board control. Instead, he'll abuse Noth's Cult Master, causing Noth to draw 6 cards with back-to-back -back naturalizes. With Noth's hand now full, Interest keeps the card draw coming, first with a Cold Light Oracle, then a Starfall to kill off another skeleton and trigger even more fatigue. Next turn, Interest compounds Noth's problems with a swipe to force another draw, then swings in to kill off the ghoul for another. Interest then triggers Noth's Ice Block with a Keeper of the Grove on the Abomination, then passes the turn where his opponent's got nothing left to do but draw a card and die to fatigue. This week's number two play was a submission from Chi Ching Soong, and it features Chi Ching on Priest up against Heroic Gluth. And in this play, Chi Ching's out to prove that his bite is worse than Gluth's bark. He starts out by stealing Gluth's Jaws weapon, which gains two attack each time an enemy minion is killed using a Thought Steal on turn three. Next turn, Chi Ching equips the False Teeth and starts munching on the undead. And on turn five, he proceeds to wipe the board with an Ochenai Soul Priest and Circle of Healing combo, which brings his Jaws up to a massive 15 strength. Over the next few turns, Chi Ching shows Gluth why he's going to need a bigger boat, finishing him off with a series of bites to the face. And this week's number one play is a submission from Evo D, and it features Expert on Mage up against Anubricon in a play we're calling My Eye, I'm Not Supposed to Get Infinite Fireballs in It. In this play, Expert has set the stage by getting an Archmage Antonidas into play and using Duplicate Secrets to get four Sorcerer's Apprentices in hand. He starts out by dropping Antonidas' team of apprentices, making all of his spells cost four mana less to play. This means he's now got free to cast infinite fireballs, which he uses to go all Ragnaros on Anubricon, purging him with infinite fire. And for a bonus clip this week, we bring you the best laid plans of dogs and spores. This bonus clip was submitted by Craig D, and it features someone whose name I can't pronounce, so I'm just going to call him Mr. T on Hunter, up against Heroic Lotheb. And as we join this play, Mr. T is setting up the perfect trap for Lotheb, using a Hunter's Mark to weaken his Fen Creeper, sitting on an explosive trap that's ready to wipe out Lotheb's board, which with all those spores, is certain to boost up Mr. T's hounds to an army of Baskervillian proportions. Then on Lotheb's turn, he takes the bait, setting off Mr. T's explosive trap and lighting off a fungal fireworks display worthy of the 4th of July. This buffs Mr. T's dogs up to 49 attack each. But then, Lotheb shows why he's not such a fun guy, replacing the Hellhounds with a grove of harmless trees thanks to a poisonous seeds. And that's it for episode 35. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you've enjoyed our Naxxramas special. Of course, we're always looking for more great Hearthstone plays to showcase on the series, so if you're interested in submitting a play, please stop by 2ppressstart.com and hit the Submit a Play link for instructions on how to submit a play into the running for next week's episode. And finally, if you enjoy our shows and want to help 2P Press Start grow, please click on that subscribe button to join the always growing and always awesome 2P Press Start family. And we'll keep bringing you more great Hearthstone content right here on 2P Press Start.